This video is sponsored by 1Password. What's going on guys, this is Sam, and right now I wanna talk about new notifications inside of iOS 12 to make sure you don't miss out on any future iOS 12 videos, make sure you subscribe down below, but let's go ahead and jump in. So the biggest change in notifications in iOS 12 is that they are now grouped by app. This is pretty huge without question because this is something iOS users have wanted for an incredibly long amount of time, something that Android has had for a number of years. No longer is your lock screen gonna be 400 text messages is long. If you have that many text messages or notifications from any respective app, they are placed in a stack underneath that app's name. It looks like this and it's really easy to use. In my short time using it, this already feels like a dramatic improvement for the iOS notification system and I cannot tell you how happy I am to see this. You can also change a couple of other options by swiping from right to left on notifications so that functionality is still here plus more from iOS 11 and overall I think this is just an absolutely fantastic change that Apple has made with iOS 12. Apple's also given you the option in iOS 12 to manage notifications on the fly from the lock screen. You can do that by 3D touching on them, or I assume you would long press on a non-3D touch device. And it'll say the app name right here. For example, this says Facebook manage notifications, and it says deliver quietly, which would just deliver it to a notification badge on the app icon and the notification center, but would hide it, I believe for good from the lock screen, or at least for a decent amount of time. Or you can turn them off entirely, which would be pretty cool. You couldn't do that on the fly before, or just go to the settings for notifications from that app, which is really great. Before you would have to do all this from the settings app, you couldn't change anything from a notification itself. So there's a lot of expanded functionality here that we just didn't see in iOS 11. Now tying directly into these new notification features, we have expanded do not disturb functionality. And some of this stuff is incredibly cool. You can now do not disturb temporarily for an hour until this evening, until you leave a certain location or until the event is over. I guess if you have an event synced with your calendar, the proactive Siri features in iOS 12 appear to be able to read your calendar and then suggest that you would want to do not disturb until an event is over. And that's pretty cool because in the past you'd have to manually enable do not disturb or only set it for a specific amount of time. But like notifications in iOS 12, you can change all of it really easily now and it's not as set in stone. It feels a lot more fluid and dynamic and I think that's a really good change. There's also some new do not disturb functionality for when you go to bed. Instead of all your notifications showing up very brightly on your phone throughout the night, even though they won't make any noise with Do Not Disturb traditionally enabled, you can now make the screen pretty much completely black, so there won't be anything on there to see except the time. When Apple was announcing this at the WWDC 2018 keynote, they suggested that that would help you not see something that would keep you up or make sure that if you were just using your phone to check the time, you wouldn't get distracted on your phone, you would just go straight back to sleep after you saw that your device was in the Do Not Disturb sleep mode. Like the notifications features, I'm also a huge fan of everything Apple did. In iOS 12 with Do Not Disturb, the team seems to really be doing a great job at just refining the interface, not making any major changes, but just improving the overall experience for day-to-day -day use, which is exactly what the notifications and Do Not Disturb features focus on. Before wrapping things up, I want to give a huge thank you to 1Password for sponsoring today's video and making it possible. 1Password is a password manager that helps keep you safe online by securing your usernames and passwords behind a single master password that only you know. I use it every single day, I love it, and I know you'll love it as well. You can get three months of 1Password for free by signing up at onepasswordcom slash WWDC18 and start being safer online today. As always, I would love to hear your thoughts about the new notification and do not disturb features down below in the comment section. Will you be using any or all of these and are you excited for iOS 12 in general? If you wanna see more videos on iOS 12, make sure you hit subscribe down below so you don't miss out on those in the future and make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video or if you learn something new. If you want to help support the channel, you can head over to shop.iupdateos.com and buy a shirt there. That would be absolutely incredible. For now, I've been Sam. I hope all of you are doing great, and I'll talk to you in my next video.